Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I got a cut. I'm looking fresh. I feel good. But today we're going to be reacting to episode number three of Black Clover. So going on with what happened last episode, they ended up fighting the bad guy. They whooped his ass, right? And we got to see a little bit more of like, you know, and Asta's backstory and how they were as a kid, how their relationship was, how much different it was back in the day and how it kind of like is what it is at this point in time. They openly admitted that they're each other's rivals and that they both not only want to become the Wizard King, but they also want to improve everybody else's lives that live in the church and the church itself. So I really like that show that they're very selfless and that they they're not just thinking about themselves yeah that's pretty much where we are i'm really curious to see how the rest of the story turns out so let's go ahead and find out and react to episode number three oh what the fuck this shit just escalated from here to here right now Oh, you know what this probably is? Probably, blah, blah, blah. probably how like they were talking about that demon in that story. Like maybe this is the the story. And I'm right. Yep, I'm telling y'all. A live action view of the demon versus the mage. Damn. I'm curious to see if like this is actually the demon that Asta has inside of him, or if it's just something else. It reminds me of like some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Some swords are revealing light. <laughs> that looks like Yuna's big ass sword, FYI. <laughs> it looked like he actually like fought the demon and beat him super easily. But what do I know? Hmm. You guys, allergies have been kicking my ass, so if you hear me sniffling, now you know why. Oh, now that makes sense. So that big ass skull is from the demon. Duh. It looks like a vegetable juice. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Man, I wonder how you're gonna use your powers though. My boy's on a different level, y'all. Fuck. Over here chopping wood and shit. Yo, he looks dope. I'm not gonna lie. He looks dope. They're both pushing each other for this stuff. Now you know they got obviously going in for it and then Asta too. And that guy just he just loves Yuno so much that he doesn't really want to have him do it. Oh, maybe he does love him. Oh. And this whole time I thought he preferred Yuno over Asta, but he does have like a little soft spot for him. <laughs> Them demons, boy. Oh, dude, I know he knows some deep shit over this. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get some more story behind this. 
<laughs> oh shit. The rivalry continues. <laughs> they didn't even have to bother with him. Let me find out he's gonna touch his grim more. Well, that sounded wrong. I didn't mean it like that, but y'all know what I mean. Plot twist is not him. Yep. Exactly, you don't know if you're gonna fail or not. He just needs to figure out how to actually use it. It's sad that that kind of mindset, you know, kids have to like grow up with that type of thing, you know? Like, it's just sad. Yeah, dude, yeah, it's true. No matter where you are, where you're from, like, yeah, some people have better um, options and, like, better, like, stuff to get what they want to, but it's not impossible. And Ass is, like, a good-ass role model to have those, to have around those kids to show them that anything is possible. Give them some type of hope is what they need, essentially, especially Nash. Uh, have the little light flickering down on him. Hope. Hope. <laughs> Just your way. He's gonna make it into the nights and then you're gonna feel salty as fuck. You gotta have some faith in that kid. No, seriously, I would have smacked the fuck out of him. How dare you say that to me? Dude, he annoys the shit out of me, seriously. He's over here picking sides. <laughs> I'll tell y'all, like... He's gonna end up being with the sister one way or another. I, it's gonna be pretty fucked up because she technically can't be with anybody, but I don't know. It's just, I'm just hinting at it. I think she's gonna be with, with Asta some way or form. And the boys are off. Yeah, you fuck. See, that's what I was talking about. He's literally like their hope for those kids. Because they need somebody to look up to. You know it was like the more gifted kid, obviously. But it seems like Asta just... He had good, a good relationship with everybody in there. Why do I feel like my kids are just going to college right now? Of course, ever since he was little. The start of something new. There you go, Sister Lily. Believe it or not, Asta's been like the key, key player in all of this. He protected Yuno and then that caused Yuno to become strong. And then everybody else hopefully gets some type of hope to go after what they want. Because he clearly doesn't have magic yet. He's going for all these things. 
Ah, oh, she's crying. Yo, dead ass. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel. <laughs> this is so cringy. I love it. I was about to say, I was like, chill, y'all really have like a whole ass journey. You can't waste your energy like that. Gotta overcome and over and adapt. That's that's the way it is. He's trying. That's all that matters. He's trying. He caught one fish. I'd be proud of catching that one fish. I don't give a care. You know, I don't care. to the capital yeah they have a lot of people to compete with who can actually use magic so let's see how this turns out for them all right y'all so that was episode number three my boys are finally off and running into the capital to take their entrance exam to become a wizard knight it literally feels like my kids are just going off to college and they're gonna become their own people now and it's like bittersweet because i don't know it feels like i've been knowing them for such a long time even though it's only been three episodes deep but this is where i think the real stuff is gonna start happening they're gonna go into the capital they're gonna be meeting a lot i'm guessing a lot of new faces especially people that can actually do magic and I wonder how Asta's gonna have to really maneuver and adapt to whatever it is that he has to do. You know, I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. I'm pretty sure he's also gonna have like challenges and stuff like that, but he won't have as many challenges as Asta. So we'll see how that turns out for him and for the both of them, should I say. And yeah, it sounds like shit's about to go down in the, the next couple of episodes and I am hyped to see that. But that is it for this video. I'm gonna leave my social and stuff like that. So if you guys haven't followed me, go ahead and do so. And yeah, I'll see you guys in for the next reaction for episode four and I'll catch y'all later. So peace.